It's day 220. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, um, I want to talk about our 18th year. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the reason, the 18th year, that's where we're at in our count of days as we count down to 30 years. And so right now we'd be in our 18th year. Amber would have been six. John would have been 14. He mm-hmm. would have been um, in high school. And Amber would have been first grade. Um, we transitioned from private school to public school. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. My mom had a first bout of depression. Um, we had lost one parent. Yes. Three grandparents. Mm-hmm. One nephew. Ton- uh, several cousins. Um, we had lost several jobs. Mm. Started a ministry. After you ran from the ministry. Yeah. Started a ministry. Um, dealt with a sexless marriage. Um, we kindled our fire again. That's Amber. Um, there have just been so many things that we have been through. In the first 18 years. In the first 18 years. Yeah. You know, not to mention, um, you know, just the stresses of jobs and finances and... Um, life. And just life. Yeah. And I wanted to speak to that because this just goes to show you what a real marriage is like. We didn't have tons of money, mm-hmm. but what I could always count on was that you were going to be there. And so why do you think that when so many people, because the, the, the divorce rate is ridiculous, the amount of people that stay married is less than 10% at this point well, in their first marriage. And, and it gets back to something that we've addressed uh, before. Uh, it gets back to honoring the vows and it gets back to what love really is and what love really does. Mm -hmm. Love um, is, I would say, a choice. You choose to love. And with that, you choose the totality of the person. Um, Because with authentic love, it's not based on conditions. You know, that's why the vows say, in sickness and in health, richer for poor, better for worse, um, because love endures all of those things. And when you really love someone, it doesn't matter what the obstacles are, what the challenges are, uh, you realize that you can overcome anything and that way you don't have to succumb to anything. That's right. Yeah. Um, it goes to show you that if you, it's commitment to and, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I was thinking about this because, you know, um, we're having some changes at work because our chef is leaving and going to a better place, a better job and um, a new job, should I say. And so there's some changes. And I, you know, the commitment that he's had for the, the seven years that he's been there, seven years, um, sign completion, time to move on, um, has been great. But I wonder what the commitment is of the others. So many young people come and go and they look at a job as something that's just a matter of something they can have one minute and drop the next. And some people look at marriage the same way. Absolutely. And that's unfortunate, but that's the reality. Um, but again, you know, and we've addressed this more than anything else. Love is about commitment. It is about, um, sticking it out, making it work. Things don't always work out the way you strategically plan. And I don't care who you are and how how strategic you may be, how a great planner you may be, life happens. It does. And sometimes you're going to roll over and look at that person and they're not going to look as attractive as they did the day that you met them. And then there'll be a day that you roll over and they look more attractive than the day that you met them. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, but again, it's about you making the choice because love is about choosing to do so. And when you choose to love, you choose the totality of, of that individual and everything that the journey will bring. Uh, if you place conditions on how you love or if you love, then I would say that's not authentic love because uh, as the Bible lets us know, love always protects always hopes, always trusts, always perseveres. Love never fails. You know, it keeps no record of wrongs. It's not easily angered. I mean, all of those things. And so when you think about authentic love, that's what gets us through. 
Yep. That's what we'll see you through. So until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.